So that's a very brave decision to make at that stage. There must be something particularly inspirational about that course. Can you tell us a little bit more about the course? Yes. Um, I think that there were several key events that, that really triggered the decision to go into biology. And the first happened very early in the course. Uh, we went to Guanacaste, to the Huganar farm, and uh, in one of the afternoons there, uh, Dan Jansen gave a talk, uh, which uh, at the time he called Why Mountains Were Higher in the Tropics, and it was published uh, the next year as Why Mountain Passes Were Higher in the Tropics. That talk, uh, is I can still remember very, very vividly, even though it was almost 50 years ago, um, and it was my first introduction to conceptual ecology. It was the most integrative uh, idea I'd ever heard. It had climates, tropical temperate, uh, altitude, mountains, physiology, all wrapped into one really beautiful, simple idea. Um, and I remember being extremely excited about it, but um, it just sort of started to ferment in my brain. Um, a second thing that happened uh, towards the end of the course, we went to Cerro de la Muerte, and it was cold. <laughs> we had been in the lowland tropics for almost two months at that point. I got up to the Cerro, and I was just freezing. And Norm Scott led us on a, a field project studying uh, the thermal biology of Scoloporus malachiticus, a really beautiful lizard that lives at high altitude. And I was stunned that these lizards, in this incredibly cold place, could bask and achieve body temperatures that were really warm. And that sort of reinforced Dan's presentation about temperature and physiology and behavior and integrating that into a tropical context. Um, so up until that point, I had thought that if I became a zoologist, I would study birds. But it was so much fun and so easy to work with lizards that uh, and the thermal start stuff just instantly appealed to me uh, that I decided uh, I'm going to become a biologist, but I'm going to work on lizards, not on birds. Uh, so uh, that two months I spent here uh, in Costa Rica changed my life and uh, affected the kinds of work that I do. Uh, but my interest in physiological ecology and uh, really traces to Dan's, Dan's lecture and it's haunted my entire career. <laughs>